Nobel Prize winners are, as a rule, far less predictable than the autumn weather in Stockholm. But the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences sprang less of a surprise than usual when they announced the Chemistry Award. This year's prize is about the chemical tools of life, proteins. While proteins were the theme, so was artificial intelligence, as it had been in the physics prize the day before. University of Washington professor David Baker and Google DeepMind's Demis Hassabis and John Jumper all used AI in their discoveries. I hope this is, this is just a sign that we have opened the door to many incredible scientific breakthroughs with computation and AI to come. There are new problems that humans face today. You know, we're living longer, so there are new diseases. What we have done with protein design is discover how to make new proteins that can solve new problems. While Baker's work creates new proteins, Hasabis and Jumpers has mapped the structure of 200 million existing ones. Artificial intelligence has now played a central part in two of this year's Nobel Prizes, and this could be just the start of its role as a catalyst for scientific advances. Without artificial intelligence, we wouldn't be able to achieve what we achieve now. We can make completely new proteins that don't exist in nature, with new function, new structure. It's mind-blowing. As AI advances, more and more Nobel Prizes could be credited partly to a human, partly to a machine. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.